this land, Edgar, your people inherited this land. You read about it in Second Edges. The Most High gave this side of the earth to the so-called Mexicans, Puerto Ricans, Native Americans, Dominicans. This side of the earth was given unto them, the ten tribes of Israel. The Bible says, read that again. Our inheritance, our land, is turned to strangers. It's turned to strangers. It's turned to strangers, meaning our land is given to strangers. We sat there looking like, bro, look at what they doing to our people. Look at the conditions that we living in. They putting our babies on the ca in cages, bro. They separating daughters from their mother. Nobody cares about it. They over here worried about Cardi B, Bad Bunny, uh, Cinco de Mayo. What are you celebrating when your people are being killed? How are you out here turning up and celebrating? Not about to be celebrating the Puerto Rican Day Parade and all of this nonsense. What are you celebrating? Puerto Rican just mean rich poor. Y'all not rich. Mexicans out here living in poverty, working for pennies in a land that belongs to them. Give me that in limitations. Edgar, I'm about to show you how you know this Bible belongs to you. The Bible prophesied what will happen to your people in the future. When you walk up and down these streets, do you realize you're walking on the blood and bones of your ancestors? They were killed by the millions, bruh. They were killed by the millions. And we walk around here in the days not caring about nothing but ourselves, bruh. We got to click. Turn that, turn that switch off and start loving your people, bro. Watch what the Bible prophesied what happened. The book of Lamentations, chapter 5 and verse 1. Remember, O oh Lord, what has come upon us. So remember when the Bible says those that sigh and cry? This is Jeremiah sighing and crying. Sighing and crying like, man, look, God, remember what's happening. Look what's happening to us, God. What was happening at that time? Read. Consider and behold our reproach. Consider what's happening to us, God. Hey, bro, what's your name? What's your name? Who? John. How many times have you seen Chinese people marching up and down the street for justice? Keep it a buck. You ain't never seen it. How many times have you seen Arab people marching up and down? No justice, no peace. Who you see every other week marching up and down the streets for justice and peace? Us, right? Have we got it yet? So when are we going to wake up and realize that don't work? It don't work, bro. It don't work. Marching up and down the street don't work. You know what got to happen? Change. Men got to stand up and start being men again. Read. Our inheritance is... Our what? Our inheritance. If somebody gave you land, wouldn't that be your inheritance? This land? Edgar, your people inherited this land. You read about it in Second Edges. The Most High gave this side of the earth to the so-called Mexicans, Puerto Ricans, Native Americans, Dominicans. This side of the earth was given unto them, the ten tribes of Israel. The Bible says, read that again. Our inheritance, our land, is turned to strangers. It's turned to strangers. It's turned to strangers, meaning our land is given to strangers. Who do you think the strangers are that this land was taken from? I mean, that took this land. European fake Jews. When you read the Bible, we the real Jews. You a Jew. Who you think, Edgar? Who took your inheritance? Be honest. You can say it. You amongst family. My sister, come over here and build with us. Who you? Who took this land from your people, Edgar? Cause he a slave. We slaves out here, bro. Who took this land? Okay, Edgar, would you say the white man took this land from your people? Yes. Yeah. You say that. You agree with that? Why you you, you don't want to say it out loud? Yeah. Uh, my brother, the white man took the land from you. So read that again. Our inheritance is turned to strangers. God prophesied that your land will be given to strangers. But watch this. Our houses to aliens. To who? To aliens. What do they call so-called illegal immigrants today? They call them illegal what? No, no, no. Watch what the Bible say. Our houses to aliens. To who? To aliens. What do they call Mexicans today on this land? Illegal what? Immigrants and illegal aliens. They call them illegal aliens. But what God is saying that that's not how it is. The truth of the matter is, they're the illegal aliens on your land. Right. Read it again. Our inheritance 
is turned to strangers. So God called them strangers first. Why? Because they were never from this land. You know where they come from? Caves. That's what their name means, Caucasian. Out of the Caucasus Mountains. They're cave dwellers. That's where they come from. Would you agree with that, Edgar? That's what their name means, Caucasian. They're strangers to this land. This land was never given to them. Hey, bro, young brother right here, you a so-called Mexican? What's your nationality? Mexican and first. Oh. You say Mexican and what? Cuban. Cuban? What's your father race? Come, give, give me a second. What's your name, bro? Who? Carlos? You see him as your brother? You see familiar, right? Hermano, you see me as your brother? So check this out, Carlos. You, your father race is what? What's his nationality? Mexican? Mexican and Cuban, right? So you be from the tribe of Issachar. You are Israelite according to the Bible. That's your real race. What's happening on the border to your people right now? What are they doing to Mexicans on the border? Talk loud, come on. They treating them like cage animals. They literally putting them in cages. Edgar, he know. He know what's going on. How old are you, bro? You 22, right? What are you willing to do for your people? Do you care about what's happening to your people? What are you willing to do about it? Watch this, my brother. This is what we want to hear. Because what we write, what we showing you right now, your history prophesied in the Bible. He said, I'm willing to do anything for my people. I sacrifice myself. You sacrifice yourself in righteousness, meaning do the work. Don't go out there and crash out. We're going to show you what you need to do. Watch this. Our inheritance is turned to strangers. So God says something is going to happen to the Mexicans. Their inheritance is this land. This land was given to them. God said it's going to be turned to who? Yeah, this is for you. If you're a so-called Mexican, you're an Israelite according to the Bible. Black people and Mexican people are the same people. Yes, Read. Right. Our inheritance. So God says the inheritance, meaning the land of the Mexicans. Read. Is turned to strangers. White people took your land from you. What are you going to do about it? White people are putting your babies in cages on the border right now. What are y'all going to do about it? They're putting Mexican babies in cages on the border. Do anybody care? Do anybody want to help their young brothers and sisters on the border right now? Or is everybody worried about Cardi being Bad Bunny? That's all we worried about? The turn up? They, they separating daughters from their mothers. Because Carlos over here, he said he willing to do something about it. What you willing to do about what's going on to our people, bro? You, you willing to step up and change something? Yeah. My brother, watch this, read. Our inheritance is turned to strangers. So your land was given to strangers, read. Our houses to aliens. Your houses were given to aliens. They like to call Mexicans illegal aliens, right? God called white people aliens according to the Bible. That's right. That's who they are. They are the real aliens. Read. We are orphans and fatherless. We are what? We are orphans and fatherless. Hey, Edgar, would you say that Mexicans are orphans out here? Yeah. Fatherless? The Bible says they are what? We are orphans and fatherless. We have no leaders. We have nobody to guide us. That's why we out here gang banging. That's why we little, what do they call them? Little Sicarios. 13, 14 years old committing murders, killing their own people. Why? Because we don't have no leaders to help guide us. That's what we out here to do. We out here to be leaders to our people. You understand? You with me, Edgar? You with me, Carlos? Because you have a path that you can help bring forth change. But you got to step up and be willing to do something. What is a nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you. It's nation time. Oh!